वेलकम बैक गाइस दिस एपिसोड इज मोर लाइक अ कंटिन्यूएशन फ्रॉम वट एवर वी डिन द लास्ट एपिसोड वेयर वी वर डाउनलोडिंग इमेज सेसिंक्रोनसली एंड लोडिंग इट इन अ टेबल व्यू सो द प्रॉब्लम देयर वॉज वी वर नॉट एक्चुअली डूइंग एनी कैशिंग ऑफ द इमेज लेट्स ए सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम दैट आर एग्जिस्टिंग इन दैट इन दैट इन दैट सोल्यूशन इज लाइक यू डोंट हैव एन इमेज कैशिंग अवेलेबल देयर you don't have url caching available which is more like um, if you have downloaded something from the server you're not caching it and then reusing the same thing instead whenever you scroll or even do a fast scroll you're actually let's say if you have uh, tons of records and then uh, you don't have something where you where you can cancel a request let's say if you're scrolling fast it actually does hundreds of rec- uh request to the server which is not great because it is which is actually impacting the performance so one of things which we can do in this episode are like this do a applica- apply apply an image caching so that uh, once the image is downloaded you can reuse it uh then avoid duplicate uh, request being sent let's say once a request is in queue you can reuse it and then you don't actually apply any uh duplicates and again download whenever you scroll back or do multiple scrolls on the same list plus um, some other thing that you can do is uh more like um, give priority prior- prioritize which needs to be downloaded first it's more like whatever is visible that's what you need to download instead of whatever you are already scrolled and which was not visible for you don't you don't need to download that so these are some of the considerations which we need to actually implement today um but the uh, best part is that we don't need to reinvent the wheel because these are already being solved by many of the uh, third party libraries which are available like uh, we are using alamo fire already and alamo fire has a third party uh, library more like a sister library called uh, alamo fire image which we can actually use to solve this so that is what we'll be using in this one plus there are some other libraries like uh, kingfisher sounds great kingfisher so that is something which we won't be using but then if you require i can give a tutorial on that as well so these are different libraries uh, which has high ratings in the like github which can be used in these projects so um so i guess uh, with that uh, knowledge we can get started with this one so uh first thing first let me add the pot file so whatever i'll be using is alamo fire image uh oh. let's add it to my project and let's do a pod install so it's getting it got installed from my cache right because i already had it so now we have an instance of uh, alamo fire image available so one uh, other reason which which you might be interested in using alamo fire image is like uh, there are different other uh, implementations of filters ap- available there like if you want to apply a corner radius or you want a round image or you want some extensions for your image view if you are a non mvc kind of a if you if you are in your project if you are not using let's say a wiper architecture of something then you can use those uh, extensions in your image view and uh, use the facility the all the different kind of filters and everything which is available with alamo fire image uh, which there again you don't need to reinvent anything it's already available so you can check their documentation and find whatever is suitable for you but in this episode i'm not going to apply any kind of filters because this is more or less like a, a solution for uh, uh, caching your caching and making your uh, approach of downloading and showing images better that's only intention of this so let's continue we already have uh, alamo fire image 
so some of the things which you are going to do now do is like uh, we already have uh, the router grocery HTTP router available which has a couple of functions uh, available for the image site so let's move that out of this grocery and make something like a image HTTP router and an image HTTP service both a cu couple of things which we can use in our um, grocery service API to actually load the images which will be actually using Alamo fire image so let's do that create uh, first thing and uh, image HTTP service so we are not going to have a protocol like here uh, like we had a protocol here instead uh, we'll directly be doing it similar to how we had implemented grocery HTTP service so let's do that I'm just gonna use this part but make the modifications wherever is needed so let's go to service so alamo fire is needed as well as uh, alamo fire image it's to get me because i compiled it let's compile it once So instead of the station manager, Alamo Fire is giving something called as an image downloader class, uh, which can actually create your request and it has uh, embedded uh, logic to actually prioritize your uh, uh, request first in first out or first in last out, anything can be prioritized and then you also have options to set the number of down simultaneous downloads which can happen. Um, even uh, it handles your caching algorithm so it is customizable but I'll be using the default one which uh, looks like this and you can actually modify it to uh, adjust to your requirements so I guess I have a problem with the uh, alarm of fire image is not downloaded let's check let's just do a fresh install again Okay, we have it now. Let's see. taking a while so this should not be a big uh, change which we are doing right now we already have a solution to download we are just modifying it so that we use uh, download manager or um, still we have problem redeclaration okay let's get rid of this first so instead of this we'll call it as image HTTP service so that's all good now um, in, and then instead of the session manager we are going to replace with uh, uh, image downloader That's what we will use. And uh, let's create uh, in it. Let's 
create an instance of an ace downloader okay we don't need this HTTP service because that should that will we will only use with the basic alarm of our request so these are giving start giving some errors right now because we used image downloader let's also do make it as a singleton so that's done so this will trigger some changes here so whatever we are doing is if you are not understanding we have a gross we had this grocery http service which which was using session manager which is coming with alarmophile so with this new approach where for images we are using something called as http image http service which will actually use uh, both alarmophile and alarmophile image so those are actually triggering these changes we were using session manager instead of that uh, let's use image downloader and we can even modify this to a function name called download so image downloader has a function called download which accepts uh, a url request convertible and uh, a completion block so let's do use that so we already have this url request convert convertible we use that and then also let's create uh, a data response kind uh, called image of type image let's create a type alias for that so let's call it as image response uh, image data response which is of type uh, data response This is what we use to send the data back so this is the completion block let's also create a completion here so that we can send it back of this type so it should return uh, a type of uh, We don't need anything here so once downloaded we are sending it back through this completion block so the service part is done so next part is we need uh, similar to our router let's create uh, one router for uh, the image So we can just grab these couple of functions. Let's not keep it here and then create an enum here. Image HTTP router. These are the two functions. Now it is going to trigger lots of changes because, because we don't have, it does not have these two we have to start moving these uh, to the other side so i'm not going to use http router again because this is more uh, specific to the alamo fire which we are using we are now using alamo fire image which does not have this request format it just changed now so i'm just keeping it uh, without the http router and i'll have all these required things Go to router, create an extension. So base URL remains the same. Path, we get rid of whatever is non needed. HTTP method is get, that remains the same. Headers again, it can be this application JSON. Parameters, we don't have body. We don't have anything again so let's just keep that
and uh, one other thing basically which we need is this request which we have overridden here so a couple of things we will grab these two so we we need this url request so again let's import alamo file and alamo file image alamo file image uh, I, okay let's do that will be required and uh, the extension create those functions request format is this and then we also need one for uh, making the service request so let's let's just create a function called uh, uh, download so using uh, image service image HTTP service HTTP service so we know that we are going to use image HTTP service so that's done and uh, we'll just call uh, HTTP service dot download and pass the required things like we need to create this as re as request URL is what we'll be calling which will create the URL request and we'll use the service completion block again let's create one here which is of type image data response so try And this will be a completion. Okay. Let's get rid of all these functions. These cases which are not needed even here. that's okay now and router was making a call to request which was returning a data request so that we need to change so right now in our case it we need to return We don't need to return here because we anyway will get that image request okay so it's it started giving me errors so here is where I need to do a change okay let's get rid of these errors right now so on request this is what the change will be instead of this we will be using uh, the image uh, HTTP routers but two places so we need to pass that as a dependency so before that let's get rid of this error so I guess we need a throws here throws and that should solve it so let's get rid of these two errors so now uh, we are going to inject uh, or uh, uh, we need to uh, instead of injecting let, let's create that uh, service here for uh, uh, image HTTP service and 
we have created a shared instance use that and uh, let's call our new routers instead of these two we'll just make uh, so this is going to trigger some changes because image closure right now is of type data but the image downloader actually returns your data as in the image format itself ui image itself so let's do that change here first ui image so it's an Im ui image now so this already has given me error so let's change this image http router and uh, we call download image is the same and we don't have this request right now instead of that we have a function called download and it is accepting a fun it's image HTTP, HTTP service image HTTP service and then we have this completion block so let's handle that here so this goes away instead of this request we are using now the download function and the response handling is going to be different where you are getting the image directly here so this again goes off and you can directly use the completion here and this type is anyway image so you can just return it uh, this will be actually of type result let's keep it as a result which is of data response image type uh, so we need to get that uh, data back response so it's an optional type let's get that image out first so card let image is equal to dot value else return and then let's pass this image so this part is done let's see what changes happened here so we we were earlier getting a data object or uh, before this so after this change to fetch thumbnail now we have an image object coming directly back so we don't need to convert it anymore we can directly say, okay this was anyway data so this is going to again change give, give you some changes here so we can use that uh, image response type here image closure type so this was returning an image we can directly send that So keep modifying your changes here again image closure which is more of a change in the presentation right now so image closure is done so this is fine now let's get rid of the thumbnail part we were having we corrected the fetch image part right now let's do the thumbnail part it's the same code image downloader same thing download the thumbnail function and then you have the same closure type just use that request and R goes off you have the download right now happening so that's also fixed you get the response then get the image out of it and then respond back so change is happening again here we have the change to update cover image we were having earlier getting a data image data object now it's directly the image object this is again creating another so we have the image closure it should be fine now oh, value of type void so fetch image what is the change let's see the change fetch image image closure this is fine it should be a change in the interactor let's go to the interactor and see image interactor 
is of type image closure that's also fine it directly translates your data and sends it back okay so update cover image it's also fine okay this is something else we have to go to the in view controller and modify it there so we have the modules groceries view controller and here we have data instead of that it should be ui image let's just make it as image and on the tip in it uh, and also on the implementation side let's mo make that modification thumbnail update as present a call happens here is the cover image so it's now image and you get it as ui image and no need for conversion that's good now even here that same change that's also done we're very close to achieving whatever we wanted to do here it's again image we don't need this guard anymore directly send the image last change again the same thing cell update you get the image use that so i guess all good now we we just moved uh, the dependency of uh, alamo file uh, request to download the images without any caching without any priority for downloads without uh, creating duplicate requests all of these are now gotten rid of by using um, image downloader of uh, alamo fire image so let's just run and see with things are working or not works so i guess this was the change let me just go to each and everything and see whether the right functions are getting called image HTTP service router service service is getting image downloader is giving a call to download let's see whether things are coming here or not routes happening so request is coming router image show fruits that's fine so download is happening multiple downloads now it's for the grocery thumbnails so things have started coming through the image downloader now so advantage being it start even if it is fast crawl it starts downloading only when you're in that section so once it is downloaded it gets cached so that cache you can actually see the images are now will be loading faster even if you go come back to the same screen let's say it's from the cache now it's down it's already downloaded so it does not make those requests again and again so this is the advantage of using something like an lmo fire image where we don't need to write anything for caching logic because they already have this image downloaded which you which we can directly use and then even here let's one let's say once the images are downloaded once we don't need to re-download it it's now cached you go back to with fruits cached one gets loaded faster very fast indeed same thing in vegetables now it's loading from the cache so hope you understand why i had to take this up because the earlier implementation was flawed it was just a uh, it was just an implementation where we, I was just showing you how to include uh, something like an image download asynchronously in a Viper architecture. But uh, I had to correct my uh, approach because if I had not done this, then you would have implemented in the same way maybe or you would have corrected it on your on your end as well. So whoever had not done in the right way would have suffered with uh, multiple requests going in like however had said if you do a fast crawl you are actually triggering 
n number of requests to the server which is not good for uh, phones uh, um, processing and everything because it is processive and process intensive so this is one solution i have kingfisher is another tool which is available which you, you can also use if you want a tutorial on that then you can actually uh, comment in the section and then let me know so i i i'm pretty much done this with this one where image caching was a priority to be shown so i'm coming back with the login implementation and uh, add to cart and everything pretty soon my server is already ready with uh, login functionality working using jwt which i'll be implementing in this application in the coming episodes so hope you enjoyed this one keep subscribed uh, like this video if you have liked it then uh, share it if you want to actually spread the word and help uh, me get more subscribers and views so and if you need code access go to patreon site and then download from there and along with subscribing click on the bell icon if you want to get uh, latest updates of whatever is happening in this channel also go to my website uh, let's code easy com if you want to see all the tutorials at one place and uh, that's it from my end uh, until the next episode uh, bye